Welcome to the Prepper Almanac, thank you for joining us today, it is deeply appreciated. In today's video we are going to discuss the history of societal collapses. Are we headed towards a societal collapse today and what can preppers do to prepare for a potential societal collapse, an economic meltdown or a major disaster that necessitates that everybody become a prepper? And, if I give you value in today's video please like the video and subscribe to the channel, I would appreciate it, be sure to watch the video to the end and let me know your thoughts about the video in the comment section below. In unraveling the complexities of societal collapse, one aspect that often goes unnoticed, is the role of demographic dynamics. Several key features of human societal collapse can be related to population dynamics. In fact, if we carefully examine the ebb and flow of historical human societies, we begin to see a pattern of population cycles. Often periods of peace, prosperity and population growth are followed by patterns of political instability and violence. These periods of strife are frequently preceded by demographic shifts, an excess in the young adult male population for instance. This phenomenon known as a youth bulge is often seen in societies that are on the brink of collapse. There are several factors that contribute to this societal decline, among them is social strife, which is often heightened by a disproportionate youth population that faces unemployment, inequality, and a lack of opportunities. This is frequently compounded by chronic inflation which erodes the buying power of the average citizen, leading to widespread poverty and discontent. The role of the youth bulge in periods of social unrest and violence cannot be overstated. A surplus of young adults, particularly males, can lead to increased competition for resources, escalating tensions and often resulting in social unrest or even violent conflict. As these trends intensify, they jeopardize the social fabric, facilitating societal decline, it feels like that is happening nowadays. The understanding of these dynamics is essential for preppers, as it allows us to predict potential flashpoints and prepare accordingly. In the next scene, we'll delve deeper into the causes and consequences of societal collapses. Societal downfall, characterized by the loss of cultural identity, social complexity, a government's collapse and violence escalation, can be triggered by various causes. Factors such as natural disasters, warfare, famine, economic failure, population decrease, mass migration or sabotage from competing civilizations could all contribute to societal collapse. Consequently, a collapsed society may devolve to a more primitive state, be incorporated into a stronger group, or vanish entirely. This explains why preppers and survivalists constantly plan and prepare. All civilizations over time have experienced such a fate, but some have managed to revive and evolve, notably China, India, and Egypt. However, some like the Western and Eastern Roman Empires, the Maya Civilization, and the Easter Island Civilization, never revived. The uncertainty of the future is precisely why we initiated this channel. To stimulate discussion about preparedness and prepare for any eventuality. Now, to the causes of societal collapses. Because human societies are intricate networks, common elements such as economic, environmental, demographic, social and cultural factors can cause their demise. These factors can trigger a domino effect, building up to a point where they could overpower any mechanisms aimed at maintaining stability. Abrupt and unexpected changes are among the warning signs. In certain instances, a natural disaster like a tsunami, earthquake, pandemic or massive flooding might trigger a collapse. Other considerations like overpopulation or resource exhaustion might be contributing factors of a societal collapse. The collapse of the Akkadian Empire in Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley Civilization are interesting situations to reflect on. Signs of a gradual decline began to emerge in 1900 BC and two centuries later, most of the cities had been abandoned. The evidence suggests an increase in interpersonal violence and in infectious diseases like leprosy and tuberculosis. Historians and archaeologists believe that a severe and long-lasting drought and a decline in trade with Egypt and Mesopotamia caused the collapse. Evidence for earthquakes has also been discovered, as earthquakes may have contributed to the decline of several sites. Preppers can learn from all of this history. Anthropologists, historians and sociologists have also proposed a variety of explanations for the collapse of civilizations involving causative factors, such as depletion of resources, unsustainable complexity, invasion, disease, and decay of social cohesion. Some of those scenarios are happening in our world now. This is why preppers are getting prepared now, we see the signs and see things happening. Another significant factor that can lead to societal collapse are foreign invasions and mass migrations. History is full of examples where these two elements have reshaped civilizations and in some cases, brought about their end. 
A notable instance took place between 4000 and 3000 BCE. During this period, Neolithic populations in western Eurasia experienced a significant decline, likely due to the plague and other viral hemorrhagic fevers. This decline created a vacuum, leading to what we now term as the Indo-European migrations. Originating from the Pontic Caspian Steppe, the pastoralist Yamnaya culture carrying high levels of West Steppe herder ancestry, embarked on a massive expansion throughout Eurasia. This expansion is considered by most contemporary linguists, archaeologists, and geneticists to be associated with the dispersal of the Indo-European languages. This influx resulted in the virtual disappearance of the Y-DNA of early European farmers from the European gene pool, significantly altering Europe's cultural and genetic landscape. This shift in population dynamics driven by foreign invasions and mass migrations played a crucial role in the societal transformation of the time. Today we see similar patterns of migration and foreign influence causing shifts in societal structures. This is another reason why preppers and survivalists are getting prepared, anticipating societal changes and potential collapse. As we reflect on our globe's history, it becomes clear that societal collapse isn't always about natural disasters or internal conflicts. Sometimes it's about the movement of people and the cultural shifts that follow. As we delve into our historical timeline, it's interesting to see how the past seems to reflect our current global scenario. Let's take a step back to 1200 BCE, to what we now know as Turkey. In Anatolia, a drastic famine occurred. The impact was so substantial that it triggered the downfall and ultimate disintegration of the New Kingdom of Egypt, a society heavily dependent on Anatolia's grain exports. This historical episode illuminates the possible devastating repercussions of a food crisis, particularly for societies relying excessively on foreign supplies. Moving our timeline forward, we arrive in Egypt during the Ptolemaic Kingdom era. This period was marred by economic stagnation and political discord, resulting in a societal breakdown that marked the end of indigenous Egyptian rule. The situation was further fueled by burdensome taxes, corruption and social upheaval. This past event alerts us to the fact that economic instability, when intertwined with political disorder, can lead to a society's downfall. Wow, don't we have all of those things nowadays? High taxes, corruption, and social upheaval? Yep, that's why preppers are definitely getting ready. Next, let's cast our eyes to the Great Famine of 1315 to 1317, that England, and much of Northern Europe. This disaster was brought on by consecutive crop failures, which in turn led to a drastic increase in food prices and widespread hunger. The aftermath was an economically challenging 14th century that further shook the societal foundations. This instance shows us how Mother Nature's whims and economic realities can become entangled, causing societal tension and in some cases, collapse. These historical events serve as stark warnings from the past, emphasizing the of readiness in times of unpredictability. They highlight the necessity for preppers to build resilience, diversify resources, and foster political stability to avert potential societal collapse. As we scrutinize our present-day situation, let these lessons from the past guide our navigation and influence our choices reminding us of the ever-important ethos. Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Let's not repeat it, let's prepare. As we've learned from history, disease outbreaks have been a constant threat to civilizations, leading to societal collapse in some instances. The evolution from hunter-gatherer societies to agricultural societies brought with it the rise of contagious diseases. As people began to settle, form communities and engage in farming, they came into closer contact with livestock, contaminated water, and accumulated waste. This coupled with poor sanitation, limited medical knowledge, superstitions and occasionally a combination of disasters, led to frequent disease outbreaks. Historically pandemics have reshaped societies in profound ways, causing hundreds of millions of deaths, toppling empires, cracking governments and wiping out entire generations. Today, as we live in an increasingly globalized and urbanized world, the risk of infectious diseases spreading rapidly is heightened. Despite these grim realities, medical advances have significantly mitigated the impacts of disease outbreaks. The human population has grown exponentially over the past century, as has the population of farm animals. This has increased the risk of diseases jumping from animals to humans, but thanks to medical advancements like the advent of antibiotics in 1928, we have been able to save the lives of hundreds of millions of people suffering from bacterial infections. 
But even in our modern world, threats persist. Bacteria are becoming increasingly resistant to antibiotics, leading experts to warn of an impending antibiotic apocalypse. This looming threat underscores the importance of preparedness. So what lessons can today's preppers draw from this history? How should we respond to these persistent threats? As we navigate our way through this era of unpredictability, it's crucial to remember the lessons of the past. We need to build resilience, diversify our resources, and advocate for political stability to avert potential societal collapse. Preppers, we'd love to hear your thoughts. How are you preparing for potential disease outbreaks? What lessons have you learned from history? Share your insights in the comments below. There you have it, preppers. We've journeyed through the annals of history, understanding societal collapses and how we can identify similar threats in our modern era. We've seen how pandemics have shaped our societies and why it's crucial to prepare and respond appropriately. We are not just a channel, we are a community. Your experiences, insights and strategies are immensely valuable. So we encourage you to share your thoughts, ask questions and suggest future topics in the comments section below. How are you preparing for potential threats? What lessons have you drawn from history? Your input could potentially help someone else in this community. If you found this video informative and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow preppers. Remember, preparedness is not a solitary pursuit. We are stronger together. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss our future videos. Need some prepper supplies? Check out the links in the description below. We've curated a list of essential items that every prepper should have in their arsenal. And before you go, why not check out this next video in the top left of the screen that YouTube is recommending. Based on your viewing history, YouTube thinks you'll find it interesting and helpful as well. Thanks for watching the Prepper Almanac. Remember, the key to survival is preparedness. Stay safe, stay prepared.